Are you working on creating your next research project or even a research proposal and you're trying to really figure out how to nail down your research questions? In this video, I want to help you by talking about really good qualities of research questions and how to alter your research questions in order to make it really fundable and great for a research proposal or a research project. If you don't know me, I am Dr. Elena Reister. I got my PhD in chemistry and on this channel I make videos all about helping you to perform your research better and perform well if you're in graduate school. Today I want to talk about the six key components to making a really great research question. The first component we're going to talk about is having a focused research question. A lot of times we create really broad research questions. And so these can be things like asking, why are teenagers interested in social media? This is such a broad research question that it becomes really difficult to even create a research plan around it because you're not focused in on a specific thing that you want to research. And so what we want to do is focus in more and usually you can capture this because if you're saying why you're not focused in enough. It's, it's a really broad question where you want to really understand how something impacts something else. And so generally we want an independent and a dependent variable in it. When you use the word why, you're not going to have those variables in it because you're saying, why are teenagers interested in social media? Well, if you look at that question, what's your independent and dependent variable? There aren't really. You have, you know, teenagers and social media and you're looking at the interest between the two, but teenagers are not directly impacting social media. So instead you want to focus down more. And one way to focus down and asking why are teenagers interested in social media is asking what effects does fear of missing out impact teenagers to be involved in social media. This at least focuses us down into focusing on the fear of missing out. And so we can create surveys based on that where we can't just understand why are teenagers in general interested in social media. The second key factor to writing a successful research question is to be specific. So if we take the same question we've been working on above and we now have how does fear of missing out impact teenagers involvement in social media. So we're a little bit more focused in, but we're not really specific because you can ask, well, what are, what social media are we talking about? Are we talking about Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, and the list could go on of which social medias we're specifically talking about. We also don't really have a measurement for what we're saying. And so we could ask, how does fear of missing out impact the number of posts a teenager makes on Twitter. Now we're much more specific in really looking at the regularity of posting on a specific social media platform such as Twitter instead of just looking at the impact of fear of missing out on social media at large. This becomes a much more realistic research question to actually be able to start formulating answers on. We now have our independent and dependent variable. Our independent variable is our fear of missing out. And what we're looking at for our dependent variable is the number of posts that a teenager would make. And so this now gives us our direct relationship between our independent and dependent variable for our research question. The third main key to having a great research question is to be objective in your research question. And so it can be easy to choose measures that are subjective. When we first started out in this video, our research question was about why are teenagers interested in social media? And so this, we can't objectively answer that question. We don't have an objective measure that we can take. Maybe we can take surveys and ask about how do teenagers feel about the fear of missing out and do they think that that contributes to their social media use, but it's not super objective. And so we want to create a more objective way of looking at it. And we were able to do that also when we became more specific by asking about posting regularity. That's one way to objectively look at it. Again, that is a quantitative way to look at it. And so there are ways to do it qualitatively, but we want to have qualifiers in there and asking, does fear of missing out encourage 
people to post more or do teenagers believe that fear of missing out leads to them checking their social media more often. And so these are more qualitative ways that we can look at it by giving survey feedback, but we're looking at it more objectively. We're looking at a specific marker that we're trying to use to determine if fear of missing out affects teenagers in their use of social media. The fourth feature of a successful research question is to make sure that it is not a yes or no question. And so this often comes if you're going to start your research question off with a does. And so if we said, does fear of missing out affect teenagers' use of social media? We only have two options to answer it, yes or no. And so we don't want to use that kind of phrasing because it really limits us. Basically, if we find that it doesn't, we have nothing to talk about and we have nothing that really comes of our research. And so we want to expand our research question more. And so that's why I say things like what impact does fear of missing out have on teenagers use of social media this allows us to say okay it has a minor impact it has a really major impact it impacts them to post more frequently or less frequently and this is a much broader research question in how we can answer it and that is really good so if you read a question and you can answer yes or no to it then you need to automatically rewrite that question to have a really good quality research question the fifth component of your research question should be feasibility. So whenever we look at something, we should be able to say, okay, I think from that research question, I can devise a plan to be able to fully address that research question. If we look at the initial question we started out with, which is why are teenagers interested in social media? If we start out with that question and think about the feasibility of answering that question, it seems almost impossible to be able to really fully answer that question, especially in a normal research proposal timeline. That question is ultimately probably hundreds of papers looking at individual research questions that are much more focused and specific. Generally, if you have a focused and specific research questions, this can also usually be a much more feasible question, unless you have something that's specific enough talking about creating something like time machines, and then that's still not going to be feasible. So you want to make sure that you are getting the feasibility check in your research questions, which usually means that you need to focus down and become more specific if you feel like you can't make a research plan that fully addresses that research question. We can maybe address a piece of that research question, which is good, but then we need to narrow our research question down to the specific piece that we're addressing. The final sixth component of a successful research question is that it is complex. And so we need something that, you know, warrants researching. We don't want to ask something like, what is the frequency of teenagers posting on social media? I think this is, in regards to our question, this can probably fairly easily be found out and the research has likely already been done in showing frequency as you can find analytics on Twitter posts by age. And so instead we want to become a little bit more complex and that's when we get back to our what impact does fear of missing out contribute to teenagers posting regularity on Twitter. This is something that we need to dive in a little bit more, especially as we look at different features of fear of missing out. And so we can look at it more individually and do you post more on social media so that you think people will see that you're doing stuff or do you post to be a part of conversations? So just looking at the numbers of regularity of posting is one thing, but then we're specifically looking at the factors that drive it. And so this makes it a little bit more complex and worth a research proposal to actually study what you're trying to study. The six main components of a successful research question is to be focused, specific, objective, not having a yes or no answer type question, to make sure that your research question is feasible and that it is complex enough in order that it warrants being researched as a research proposal. If you're still struggling with coming up with ideas for your research proposals, 
check out my 30 day research jumpstart guide. It's going to help you really get to know your field and start developing and testing your research ideas in order to make sure that you can create really good research plans and start getting publishable data within 30 days. And that link is below. I really hope that you enjoyed this video and that it was helpful and I will see you in the next one.